So got a call this morning, actually yesterday afternoon, for a new customer I've never been to, which is always nice. A recommendation from a previous customer. They've got a little boiler leak. So we shall see what it is. I'm gonna go there tomorrow morning, which is when you see this video. So that's a little bit awkward. Basically, I don't know whether it didn't record or it got deleted or something, but the video of me going into the job, looking at it, diagnosing what was wrong, is not there. Nowhere to be found. As I say, don't know what happened, but basically needed a filling loop connector and flow adapter. So now you're gonna see when I arrive back with the parts. So it's only about half an hour later, but. As usual, we can only rely on technology and yeah, it's gone. So here we are back at the boiler, coming now. I've got my parts and you can see it's leaking from there. Uh, you can't really see it there actually. Yeah. And also from there. Should be a relatively quick fix in order to change these. You need to isolate the cold mains coming into the boiler, run a tap ideally at the lowest point, and that would be where you change a fur adapter and the filling loop. And also I would isolate and drain the boiler just so that we can then replace the little filling loop connector as well. Let's start off. I usually find a little pair of grips is better than a screwdriver underneath there. Screwdriver just generally rounds off. You can't really see that. Little bucket underneath. It's got to run a tap. On the one next door, shouldn't get a lot of water. And stupidly, I forgot to bring a little bit of hose to go on there, but I have got my bucket, my full up bucket, but those bits can come off. Generally the flexi bucket you can get under there enough to drain that out. Hmm, either that's not opening or there's no pressure. That's not closing off either. Okay, let's investigate. So I managed to find an additional gate valve to turn the cold water off. So that's all good, let's change the flow adapter first. And we'll worry about the drain off in a minute. So you undo this nut. Pumps roasting hot. Huh? Undo this connector, pop this clip. Quite a bit of space and access on this module, so it's not too bad. So we just pull that all forward together, just push fit. Then you'll see that should ease out. Sometimes it needs a little bit of help. Yeah, the washer's gone on there. Make sure there's nothing stuck in there. Comes with all these little bits, including new 
washer for the cold mains in there. Normally when you take the old ones out, they're completely brittle. Take the old flow restrictor out. It's two of them. Screw that on. I think what they've done there. Oh no, it's just me and my eyes playing tricks. So I also put a little bit of grease or washing up liquid, whatever you want, onto there. Just so that pushes in nicely back onto the flow switch just pushes deep in normally you hear like a little pop as it goes in there you go and flow switch we haven't taken it off the front one maybe we'll do that and change that washer as well while we're at it because you do get a spare one On which way it went now? <laughs> Why is it the front? And easier to pop that on first, then pop the switch in. And then our clip wires out the way. There you go. Let's put that back in before we forget. Now let's. Won't forget to change that washer. Slacken this off. It's a really handy little ratchet from Supreme. Have a lot of their tools. Well, not their tools, but the tools he sells. He's a great guy. Get yourself over to his website. Supremehandtools.co.uk Only the best. Best tools, the best colours. So I get all my pink tools from. Really handy little socket and ratchet there. Tell you what I found. Open this isolation up again. I have found the back here filter. Drain it from there. <coughs> Much better. Right, now we can start on doing these. Mm. 
few retaining screws to link for that little goes in. Key in there, all right? Everything's all good, just for a place that wash up. So, water's all back on. Let's turn the pressure up before we turn the boiler back on. success so we have finished that one now and yeah just a little drip as you see it was coming from the completely forgot now filling loop <laughs> and flow adapter both quite common parts to replace actually the filling loop not so much but yeah not a bad job to do quick relatively in and out easy I recommend they have a strip service because the company they're using previously they said they was kind of in and out in 10 minutes for the service so that probably hasn't been done in quite a while but give them you know a couple of months to get over the cost of this and hopefully a new customer gained for life um they seem pretty happy which is the name of the game so thanks for watching Thank you.